Hi friends, in this video we will learn how to read and delete SMS on a GSM module from Raspberry Pi. So in this video we will cover the following topics. First we will see the AT commands to read and delete SMS. Next we will install the serial module on Raspberry Pi. Third we will write a python program to read and delete SMS from GSM module. And lastly we will discuss some of the applications of this program. So first we will see the AT commands. The AT command to read SMS is AT plus CM GL is equal to all. This command will list all the messages on the GSM module. Next, the command to delete SMS is AT plus CM GDA is equal to DEL all. This command will delete all the messages on the GSM module. So now we know the AT commands. Next, we'll jump on to install the serial module. We need this module in our code to communicate with the JSM module through USB. Okay, to install this command, if you are using Python 3, the, the command is sudo apt get install python3 serial. And if you are using lower version, then the command is sudo apt get install python serial. I have already installed this on my Raspberry Pi. Before installing this I was getting a no module font uh, error. So I will just show you how I installed this. I have taken the image of that. I fired this command sudo apt get install python serial and after that all the packages are downloaded and installed on my Raspberry Pi. Okay. After installing this we are ready to write the program to read and delete messages from JSM module. The, I have written already written this program. I will just show you. In the program first we will make the serial object here and after making that serial object in a while loop we will read and delete messages. We are making while 1 because we want to do this continuously. So the program will read and delete messages from JSM module continuously. So in the while loop first we fire this command at plus emgl is equal to all. This command will read all the messages from JSM module and when we read from serial we get all the messages in a variable r. So right now we have the messages stored in r variable. We can print this variable and see what are the messages ok now if you want to send some specific command to raspberry pi through the message then you can compare over here if your command is in the message and if your command is found then you can perform some specific task in this block right now i have just printed a command text you can perform some task over here and after that if you want to delete the message message all the messages from JSM module then you can use this command at plus cm gda is equal to dl all ok you can make over else if ladder here to do specific tasks for different commands ok this is just simple model of the program you can use this model in uh, robotics also where you want to send some information to robot through your mobile ok you can use this in home automation system systems also where you want to uh, suppose you want to switch off your lights when you are away from home you can send a message to raspberry pi and raspberry pi will drive through the relay and it will switch off the lights like this this can be used in so many places ok so you can think where you can use this you can also use this if your raspberry pi is not connected to internet and, and you want to send some information to raspberry pi ok this is very much simple now we will uh, run this program and see the output over here I will just run this program.
right now we see that there are no messages coming over here now I will send one message from my phone to this module ok let's see if the message is coming the message is received over here we can see that and after that the message is already deleted so in this way the program works you can follow this in my blog post I will be giving you the link in the down ok then you can copy paste the code and run and see ok that's it for this video thank you